Gunner's seen the video! Hurry, grab all the videos you can before they get dropped for damage control! Nah, but seriously, what the hell was this? Warning, do not harass anybody mentioned in this video. We are going to be civil here. Content warning for mentions of self-harm and racist topics. New year, new me, and new video. I recently came across a tweet from Lyle Convoy talking about Go Kata's video on Mushroom Girl, and generally, I respect Lyle's opinions, so I went and checked the video out and... Yikes. Also, for anybody asking, no, I'm not going to go into what he's talking about in the second half because I'm just covering the video. If you want more information, you can go to Lyle's Twitter and check for yourself. I will also not be discussing other videos done on Mushroom because I don't have that time. And I honestly don't care that much about the drama itself, I just care about this video and how poorly done it is. Yeah, too late. Also in regards to Mushroom Girl being uninformed, that simply isn't so. As according to my research, Mushroom Girl has been called out for things like the bi-lesbian discourse and speaking over black voices ever since early 2022. It's really telling in my opinion. Now before I made this video, I attempted to try and understand Mushroom Girl's perspective and me and my friends tried to calmly educate her and get her to listen to us about why the things she was saying were harmful and misleading. Oof. Only a minute into the video and already I had to tell you guys to keep that calmly educate bit in mind. However, we were brushed off, insulted, and invalidated. Just like Crying Blossom was when Mushroom Girl responded to their video that respectfully tried to educate her more on the topic of how the label bisexual lesbians or bi lesbians is harmful and misleading. Oh god damn it, we're talking about the fucking bisexual lesbian debate? God damn. For those who don't know, the bi-lesbian debate was started due to non-men identifying as such. Looking further into it, apparently these people are referring to being bisexual homoromantic or homosexual biromantic, and several people in the LGBT community had an issue with the conflicting labels. My opinion on this? I could not care less what people choose to call themselves. I'm not gonna throw a hissy fit because somebody calls themselves something I personally don't understand because, to be blunt, I'm not trying to get into their pants. It isn't my business what their sexuality is. A video I recommend that goes further into this issue is a video by Black and White Thinking. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll read out a comment under the video by user Fran Fern Adams. TLDR, I'm a lesbian who used to be pretty involved with LGBTQ plus discourse online until I became more engaged in IRL community spaces and realized that I have no authority over other people's identities. There is something about queer discourse existing almost exclusively online, at least in my experience, that makes it so easy to disregard history, and I would know because I used to do precisely that. It's not something I'm proud of, but I think it's important to admit and analyze in the context of this conversation. When I first came to terms with my identity as a lesbian, I found myself overwhelmed with relief. Not because the label gave me a name for how I was feeling, but rather because I didn't realize not dating men was an option. My fear of being miserable dating someone I would never be attracted to was squashed in an instant, and I quickly sought out a community to find a stronger sense of safety and pride in myself. This community ended up being online, as there weren't many pride events or LGBTQ plus people around me, and considering, th considering that I'm autistic, I probably wouldn't have felt comfortable at any of those events regardless of their overstimulating natures. As I began to build a community online, I quickly found that discourse seemed incredibly important to the LGBTQ plus people there, and assumed it to be something I should also care about. After all, I was new to exploring this aspect of myself, and hadn't a clue how to navigate it. Soon enough, I found myself spouting the same things they did, excluding bi lesbians, asexual heteromantics, and so many other people I had no authority to exclude from a community that I didn't create, and certainly don't own. The most significant factors that have contributed to my growth have been in befriending LGBTQ plus people in my area, fighting for liberation alongside them, and, oddly enough, developing a special interest in Alison Bechdel's work. The more love and time I invested in these things, the more I slowly began to examine myself and the beliefs I held that didn't match up with my morals and character, even if I once believed they were necessary. It's taken a lot of inner work to be who I am now, someone who loves her community and all of its nuances and experiences, embracing its rich history and honoring those who fought so hard for me to be here. I'm still learning new things every day, but I can say with complete certainty that once I let go of the pressure to be outraged about others' identities, I was able to direct that rage towards the real problems facing our community, which mainly involve capitalism, but that's for another rant, lol. I think it's great that others want to acknowledge their history in the same ways I have, and if that involves using a label I don't completely understand, then I'd say go for it. 
And speaking of crying blossom, when I confronted Mushroom about how uh, she responded to CB's video on her and how inappropriate her insults were, Mushroom Girl brushed that off as well. I will now show you that conversation. First comment is by Trish, aka Goat. Okay, so I'm gonna have to rehash from last night, of course, but I have a few questions. If minorities are telling you in the hundreds that you are wrong about the bisexual lesbian thing, then why do you not listen to them? Two, when people give good points and criticize you, why is it that you don't listen to them and instead tend to just ramble on and on and insult them via calling them a dumbass, etc.? Three, if being bitter and mean as a commentator is your character that you put on, then why do you keep it up despite saying you mean no ill will to the person you're talking to or about slash responding to and end up hurting them, invalidating them, and insulting them? Four, why do you use the excuse that you're bisexual to defend bisexual lesbians? The term is harming both bisexuals and lesbians. Literally, both parties are speaking up about it, yet you ignore them. Goat. You literally just said that minorities are telling you that you are wrong about the bisexual lesbian thing. And you said that the term is harming both bisexuals and lesbians. Why are you bringing up the minority thing when Mushroom Girl herself is one of those minorities? She is allowed to speak on it because it does affect her. 5. Why do you not use a script despite literally everyone begging you to? If it's that hard to script only for your rambles and rants of videos to end up being received poorly by your audience, then why don't you put in the effort to edit and construct proper videos? And no, don't say your audience loves it because literally 80% of the people I've seen comment are begging you to edit and make scripts. Number 6. Why do you refuse to apologize to Blossom after you hurled multiple insults at them, invalidated their identity, and overall were disgustingly cruel towards them under the excuse of you putting on a character? Number 7. If you don't like it, people invalidating bisexual lesbians, then why do you invalidate those who are clearly more educated than you on the matter? Because if there's hundreds of people telling you the label is harmful, then why don't you listen? Question, like, genuinely. Who would be more educated in this scenario? We already brought up bisexuals and lesbians being the people talking to Mush about this, but Mush herself is bi. So she, by your very own logic, would be just as educated on this. God, this is just a dumb discourse this and don't make excuses or shrug it off either mushroom girl one because a large group of people having a different opinion from me does not make it wrong automatically i don't listen to them because i don't think what they're saying is right and i disagree with them simple as that i'm not going to pretend to agree with someone i disagree with maybe the criticism is good in your eyes but it's not good in my eyes i have at times when people have given me genuine criticism that i have actually taken I'd like to see what criticism goat or mushroom is referring to, because if the criticism she's referring to is anything like goats, then yeah, I can understand where she's coming from. <laughs> Three, I'm gonna be honest, the character I created, MG, is only like half the reason I act the way I do in my videos. I genuinely can't help it. I explained it in depth to Parpar and Blue, but essentially what I said was that because of my autism, I unintentionally soak up the speech patterns from commentators I like and look up to like a sponge. Genuinely, the reason that why I do this is because my neurodivergent brain is basically trying to mirror Ponder's bucket, but it can't mirror the other aspects of her videos that balances out her mean tone. So basically, my brain is just trying to be a Ponder's bucket clone, but it's failing miserably. This isn't something I can change overnight, and really the only way I could fix this quickly would be to script my videos, but... That runs into the issue of why I don't script my videos, which I'll talk about when the question comes up. Also, I just tend to come off aggressive no matter what I'm trying to convey because, again, autism. Also, I swear a lot because that's just how I talk. I've always talked like this, and again, it's something I'd have to work at to change. By that, four, by that logic, only bi lesbians can speak on the topic of bi lesbians, which honestly is fine by me. Or maybe conjoined twins where one is bi and one is a lesbian? Maybe, slash J. But seriously, it's extremely fucking biphobic to say, oh, lesbians can speak on this, but bisexuals can't. That's biphobic, and you guys should, like, genuinely rethink this issue from an unbiased perspective. This is literally the only listen to minorities when they're saying what I want thing. Stop! Five. There's a few reasons. One, I'm a shitty writer. That's it, I can't write shit. I'm bad at getting my ideas on paper cohesively. Two, I'm not good at putting personality into it, which makes the videos boring as fuck, and when I do put personality, then I'll sound like an asshole again. Three, with the way I make videos, scripting response commentaries would be very difficult. Four, I sound like a robot when I read out scripts. It makes the videos so boring. 
Feel free to ignore, but a few things that might help would be to make a few notes on what you want to talk about so that you can stay on track. For instance, write a subject, and then underneath, write little mini notes of details you want to be specific about and improvise along the way. Or you can edit down your videos to make it easier for your audience to digest. 6. I never refused to apologize. I literally said I was probably going to apologize after some people left. Also, I did not invalidate their identity. I called out the fact that they invalidated, invalidated their own identity and that made them upset. And if that makes them upset, that is literally their fault. Okay, so I can't find anything specific about Mushroom Girl's response, not even on Crying Blossom's channel, so I'm not going to be going into this. <laughs> 7. If my opinion on the matter invalidates people who are more educated, then uh, that's a problem on their end, not mine. Ta-da, it only took 30 minutes. I can't believe that took 30 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a yikes from me. Enjoy your answers. Those weren't answers. That was just foul. I'm sorry, but what the hell, dude? Oh, so my explanations on why I act the way I do in my videos is so foul. And so is my explanations on why I don't do scripts, Lamau. So foul. How dare we have differing opinions on the subject of bi lesbians? What were you fucking expecting, dude? Seriously. I'm so sorry, I'm so in the wrong, I'm literally crying IRL. I can't answer these questions because of how sorry I am right now. Wah, I'll vent here every whim, wah. Like, seriously, know who you're talking to, lol. I'm not just gonna agree with everything you say. No, it's the fact that you literally did invalidate Blossom's identity and then said they invalidated themselves. You refuse to listen to trans people slash non-binaries. You speak over us, you speak over black people, you speak over literally anyone who tries to tell you your opinion is harmful. Also, my guy, I understand being autistic. I have autism. But there is a thing called self-control and maturity, both of which you lack when it comes to commentary. You cannot speak over people and then get mad when we don't like it. Okay, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot to go over with this. First of all, you didn't clarify to her what was foul with her crime. Okay, there's a, there's a lot to go over in this. First of all, you didn't clarify to her that what was foul was her invalidating crying blossom. You just said that everything she said weren't answers. Second, where the speaking over people of color come from in this conversation? If you're referring to crying blossom in regards to the trans people, okay, fair, but black people weren't a part of this. You were specifically talking about bi lesbians. Next on the discussion of autism. Autism is a spectrum. Wherever goat may lie on it could be entirely different from where mushroom is. And speaking from my own experiences, most of my friends are on the spectrum. Some are able to give off tone more accurately than others, while others either sound aggressive all the time or cheerful all the time. Because it's a spectrum. As for self-control and maturity, mushroom girl is 15. She isn't going to treat every situation with the maturity it needs because she is a teenager. I'm sure you can relate to that, Gokato, since I can't find basically any of your old commentary videos. You need to learn to respect minorities and listen to their concerns. Because right now, you are literally digging a grave for yourself and making yourself out to be a bigot. You're 15 in the commentary community. You have time to learn and educate yourself, yet you refuse to listen to us. I'm not expecting you to get on your knees and beg for forgiveness, but rather get off your high horse. Be mature. And stop making excuses for the harmful misinformation and labels you spread. I'm tired of it. This has been going on for a year. You know better. Self-control- what? Regarding your anger issues insulting people. All of that. You are in control of what you say and call people. All I'm gonna say is, go outside if you're genuinely upset over bi lesbians. Educate yourself properly. Don't invalidate people and call them fucking morons for trying to educate you. Stop speaking over us when it's just so apparent you do not know what you're talking about. Do better. Like, actually, I'm done arguing my stance because everyone is so upset over this stupid fucking LGBT discourse. It's like, actually, go pathetic. Please go lay in the grass. Maybe go eat some bugs or something. Maybe that'll fix ya. If you're gonna be like this, you have no good feature in commentary. Wait until you guys learn I am actually going to improve myself. No thanks to you. Sleeping emoji. Thanks to Blue and Parpar because they're actually mature, something you claim to be. You aren't showing that to us, though. You're being bitter over people educating you and telling you you're wrong. What? Okay. Gonna be honest here? 
like you are an educating mushroom. You're just saying you're wrong because these people say so. Which, for the reasons of it, yeah, since I don't know if any of the people in this chat are black themselves, it makes sense that they wouldn't know how to properly elaborate. Which, uh, if that's the case, you should have done more research as to why what she said was an issue so that you could properly educate her like you said you'd do. But, my main point is, go Kato. I don't know what your actual sexuality is, but I've heard of you dating both men and women, so I'm just gonna go off of that. Feel free to disregard this point if I'm wrong, but if you're bisexual, wouldn't that mean you can further educate Mush on the topic of why bi lesbians are harmful? Where are your parents? How to determine if one has no social connection? Fo- Fo that care about ya? <laughs> I'm not even mad, dude. I'm trying to be civil about this, but you're hitting me with aggressive responses. Those weren't answers. That was just foul. Let's be fair. You started the insults in this conversation. Don't get pissy when the teenager responds to an insult with more insults. Also, your friends are not helping. How dare you not improve overnight? I'm being bitter because all you talk about is stop being aggressive, listen to people, stop being aggressive, listen to people, you're immature. You aren't listening at all, Jesus. Because everything you say is this dumb, listen to everyone. Having your own opinion is bad, bullshit. Having a hurtful opinion be like, you don't get an opinion on things that don't involve you. We're still on the bi-lesbian debate. Yes, she does get an opinion on that because she is bisexual. By your own logic, that involves her. Teeth, quit your chattering. Goat did not originally bring up the black issues until after Mush gave her her response. So of course, we don't get to see what her explanation was for it. And if there were any redeemable qualities. Too fucking bad. Lesson two, minorities. Example, black issues. Because I get an opinion on every anything because guess what? I'm a human being who has opinions. Everyone has an opinion on issues that don't affect them. Ever heard of politics? By the way, in your video, you basically contradicted yourself regarding the definition of what a lesbian is and how you said that the definition potentially validates the idea of bisexual lesbians when in reality, in the Google definition that you showed us, it literally says lesbians are defined as women who are exclusively attracted romantically or sexually to other women because bisexuals are not exclusively attracted to women, so please educate yourself. I would like to point out that even in this text, it says lesbians are defined as women who are exclusively attracted romantically or sexually to other women. So by Google's logic, one can be a lesbian if they're exclusively romantically attracted to women but sexually attracted to others, or vice versa. Also, language changes over time, as does definitions. For example, the term gay used to mean just cheerful or happy, but later became the term used to refer to homosexual men, then as an umbrella term for the queer community as a whole, and I was just kind of flipping between the two. Also, Google definition says only women can be lesbians, when that is not true. Trans masks and non-binaries can be lesbians. Shocker. Politics involve everyone, dipshit. Depends on if the politics are a part of your country or not. I already know Britain speaks on my country's politics all the damn time because we're idiots. Trust me, just go on any TikTok of people poking fun at England and the comments will be full of school shooting jokes. I'm white and think that slavery is bad. How could you have an opinion on a black issue, Timmy? Bro, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm gonna talk about how I can improve with people. It's gonna be in a group chat with me, Parpar, and Blue. They're the people who have actually shown me respect. Then do you want that? Damn, you mean you want people to baby you because you can't handle the cold, hard truth. Uh, that's assuming. I don't know who Parpar and Blue are, and I really doubt that you do either since nobody shows screenshots of these users babying Mushroom. Hell, for all you know, Parpar or Blue could be black, and Mushroom is listening to minorities. But you automatically assume they're babying her. Wouldn't that mean you're potentially speaking over black voices? Probably not, but still. Nah. Kinda like how Crying Blossom couldn't apparently. Are you okay with meanness or not? Pick a side, people. Based on what Mushroom Girl has told us, she does not think she needs to listen to trans or black voices about subjects that she is clearly uneducated on, which, in my opinion, is just fucking gross. Yes, she should listen to black voices on subject matters involving that race. 
I'll go more into where B Mushroom Girl actually went wrong in my conclusion, but Mushroom Girl does actually listen to what black people say. Sometimes. Here's a screenshot from user Pumpkin Patch. I like the points you made about black edits not being great representation. I always see black edits on my TikTok for you page, and recently I found a new genre of black edit, changing an already black slash POC character to be black. I saw a video of somebody making Sarah Bella and Feng, Skullgirls, black, and pointed out that I thought it was iffy that they changed Brazilian, Cerebella, and Chinese, Fang, characters to be black for representation. But is it really good representation if you're erasing someone else's representation? I even saw someone make Makne Coco, an already black character, even more black? Was her skin tone not good enough already? Maybe I'm not understanding something, but even as a black girl, I've started not to like the black edit side of TikTok. Oh my god, it's almost like people will have different opinions regardless of their race, and that race is only an influence on their opinions and not a set standard. Wow! Her excuse for this belief is that hundreds of minorities speaking up about their concerns isn't enough to prove their point. As according to Mushroom, there needs to be quote-unquote evidence to back their claims up. Uh, yeah, I looked through the messages again. She doesn't bring up evidence. Why did you put the quote-unquote there if you aren't quoting her? She didn't say there needed to be evidence, she just didn't agree. And yes, hundreds of people in the same group can be wrong. Trust me, I've been invalidated by other trans men enough to know minorities can be wrong on minority matters. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mushroom Girl, but that is not how it works. If there are hundreds of trans voices, black voices, any other voices in general telling you that you're in the wrong and spreading harmful and even hateful information, then that means you're very obviously, oh, I don't know, doing something wrong and you, to, you need to listen instead of spreading false information. I am literally so sick and tired of people making excuses to not listen to LGBT and minority voices. It's like you don't think their voice matters unless it fits their ag your agenda. <laughs> you mean like how you aren't listening to a bisexual giving an opinion you don't like about bi lesbians when you yourself claim that bisexuals can have an opinion on it? It's just sickening. I understand that you're 15, but you've been told time and time and time again what you're doing is wrong. If you are going to be in the commentary community and try to be mature and cover topics that are mature, then guess what? I'm going to hold you accountable for every single thing you say and treat you with the maturity that this situation needs to be treated with. I'm 18, you're 15. You think you know it all, so I'm going to treat you like you do. I'm going to treat you like an adult and hold you responsible. There will be no sugarcoating in this. I'm just going to be brutal with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're serious. Goat. No. This is not how you fucking handle this. You treat a 15-year-old like a 15-year-old. Every teenager thinks they know it all. You and I are not exempt from this rule. You are not holding Mush responsible in a responsible manner. You claim you're treating this with maturity, but by your Discord screenshots alone, you show that you are not handling this maturely. This is a vile way to go about the video, Goat, and you should be ashamed. By the way, I mentioned that Mushroom Girl had a history of speaking over black and trans voices like this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you evidence of that now. Keep in mind that some of this went down earlier this year, however, in my opinion, she hasn't necessarily changed because she continues to speak over people when she shouldn't. She keeps speaking on topics that she shouldn't. And does she care? No! So let me go ahead and show you all the screenshots of that. Now there actually might be more, but this is what I found based on doing my research. By the way, Mushroom Girl also tried to address a poopy butthole's video on her and about how she's racist. And Mushroom Girl tried to blow everything off, told poopy butthole that their opinion relating to the matter didn't matter, and told them to shut up. But we'll get into that once this little slideshow of screenshots. No. No, you gotta be joking. We have to talk about PB. Ah! Goat. You know that PB is not a reliable source when it comes to this shit. Your Sashley video shows that! Also, if anybody wants a further in-depth look to PB's reaching, check out Definitely Bored Orange's video on the Sashley drama. He did a really good job having common sense. And me personally accepting or not accepting the apology doesn't hurt you. It's not an apology for you. It's for the black community. It's not your place to accept it. You literally assumed I thought she was a shitty person for not accepting her apology. Well then, I guess all non-black people have to hate Sashley. 
Well, guess what? I do think her apology was genuine, and I'm going to keep supporting her. Go for it. Maybe instead of hyper-focusing on people's race, you should realize that everyone is entitled to feel whatever way they want about a situation. She used to be one of those haha, edgy, offensive kids, and then said the Ed word a lot, but she has since understood the weight of the word and no longer uses it. Again, not your apology to accept. <sighs> okay, let me say something real quick. Not every black person is going to forgive Sashley, and not every black person is going to stay angry at her, because people are not the same, with, even with the same race. Honestly, I think everybody should just follow their own values, because we are never going to come to a universal agreement. Also, DJ... J Shart aunties. You mean normal people? Nope. Aunties of anything are never normal people. Zoo aunties? Pro ship aunties? Usually if your community has an auntie group, it's just a gross thing to support. I don't support aunties because they're known for harassment, doxing, bigotry, etc. I do not in any way support zoos or pro shippers, though. Uh... What's the point here? I myself think aunties are kinda a dumb thing because it's usually just people saying, I don't like this thing that is bad. No shit? Who cares what her opinions on aunties are if she doesn't care for the pros either? What was that? Did you draw Adam in blackface? Wish we could see the picture so we have some context because for all we know it could have actually been blackface and a severely racist early Looney Tunes looking shit. Regardless of it being a joke, it was a terrible one. I know that! Where did you even apologize? And call to Loki. I also apologize to the artists that drew it, but they don't accept it. Good for them. Which, I don't really know if they accept it or not, they're a piece of shit anyway. Assuming this is for the previous screenshot, once again, we don't get to see what the context was. Later on, Mushroom Girl claims that the artist drew one of her characters black out of spite. Yeah, I don't really blame her for being upset at that. You shouldn't use race bending as a weapon because that just makes people more against that form of art. By the way, blackouts are so that the creators of that specific minority can get more attention, just so you know. There's probably other stuff, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm aware. It just seems performative. I mean, kind of, but it does work to help get support from our creators of that minority or talk about their culture. At least that's what I've seen. I don't know about your For You page. I've rarely seen people talk about their culture on blackouts. I feel like it would be more beneficial to have days to celebrate cultures without all the, this controversial discourse and shit. Like, blackouts only cause discourse and can even cause more bigotry and have the minority be seen in a bad light. It's just overall performative and it doesn't do much. So, blackouts in regards to the BLM movement covers a few things. This includes stores putting themselves on hold for the day, radios, TV stations, and naps going silent for the same amount of time that the cop had knelt on George Floyd's neck, and internet users posting a black square. Here's a screenshot from Wikipedia discussing people's thoughts on the internet usage of the black square. I don't understand where Mushroom Girl is coming from with claiming it causes more bigotry, but for all we know, she further explains herself in the conversation. But yeah, I agree that just posting the black square was probably done by performative activists because People just love ruining shit. I mean, I think blackwashing is okay, but I understand where you're coming from. But I don't know why it's such a big deal. It really isn't such a big deal. What makes it a big deal is people calling each other racist over a topic that is in no way important compared to actual issues. Blackwashing does not exist. Blackwashing does not exist. Okay. <laughs> why is this here? Like, yeah, I also don't believe blackwashing exists, but just saying that isn't going to get anybody, much less a teenager, to change their mind. Hi, yeah, I'm black, and honestly, a couple of seconds into the video, I already disagreed with your points already. Okay, first, blackwashing, let's talk about the term. Blackwashing was created based on whitewashing, but for black edits. The reason why it can't exist is because whitewashing doesn't come from edit. Read more. Honestly, I blanked out while reading 90% of this comment, but like, bro, you clearly didn't listen to the multiple parts of the video where I said, people's knowledge on a topic is not solely based on their race. This comment is basically just restating the shit I address and saying, you're wrong, actually. Then maybe take your time to read the comment? This could help you improve within your commentary, especially if you're going to preach your opinion on blackwashing, call it race bending. Don't get me wrong, if you're going to say it solely doesn't depend on race, you should use the term race bending instead of blackwashing since hence read more. Would be nice if you actually looked through the whole comment giving a black user a voice goat, but don't worry, I'll do your job for you. Also, thanks for not giving us the video titles of where these were taken so that I had to look through Mush's videos to find it. 
Big surprise! I'm not really a fan of her, so that was just tiring. The reason why it can't exist is because whitewashing doesn't come from edits of characters. It's a historical term used to erase history and for white people to become saviors to people of color or minority groups. Another example of whitewashing being used is within the name. The reason why washing is in the name is to wash away, washing away the dirt to make it white. So simply, if you're going to use blackwashing in any term, use race spending. Blackwashing never existed until people on TikTok wanted to piss off and make the black community look bad. I feel as if you as a commentator need to realize you'll never see how us black people have to work every day for representation. Even if it's black edits or actual representation, we will still get shit on. When us black people say, see ourselves in characters, we don't always mean, oh yeah, let's turn them black slash mixed with black. It could also literally mean self-inserts and using our favorite character. Okay, so I got to the point of the raceless character thing. It depends on that sense within some within some raceless character designs. It can be heavily implied with their design and background that they are a certain race. Not just black, they could be Desi, Asian, etc. Also, I know you mentioned you see blackwashing and whitewashing on different levels, that they shouldn't be grouped within the same group since, like you said, one is more harmful. Also, do not group sexuality and race in the same thing. That is something not to compare. Honestly, I'm only, what, two, four, halfway through the video? That's the same thing. And you don't add on to your own points either. I'll finish this point and then give my halfway conclusion. Comparing asexuality to being black, which is what I've heard you basically compare, is not the same. Yes, both minorities have went through their hard times, though comparing the two at all, and then later you saying it isn't comparable, makes me feel as if you don't hear yourself when doing these videos. The black community has the reasons to make their edits. Whether it's self-insert, simple headcanons, or to bring comfort to them. A while back, I saw you on TikTok getting dogpiled, and honestly didn't bother with it. But now that you're growing a fan base that genuinely agrees with these takes, isn't a good thing because I have to agree with the OG post, who is in a white savior, though a black creator should have spoke on this. Which honestly, this video makes me want to make a video on this topic. That it is in both your parties' places to speak on us black people on blackwashing. This video could have been shorter. And you could have even brought on a black creator to help amplify your points on your video if they agree with your exact points. But I'm not shocked that you bo both you guys are, are speaking over us black people. If you ever want to contact me so an actual black creator can give you an opinion, my DMs are gladly open. Have a nice day. Yeah, Scientist SC1 is right. They did a good job explaining their points and it was disrespectful of Mushroom to just ignore it. But... Goat doesn't listen to them either, calling race bending blackwashing. Practice what you preach, goat. Blackwashing is such a nothing topic. You want to basically plagiarize someone else's work just so you can feel special? Go ahead, just don't pretend like you're actually doing anything worth for anyone at all. Also, I feel like people who say that giant corporations don't properly give representation to minorities, so said minorities should create their own representation. Like the people you're like the person you're responding to, are so close to realizing that the only way to get not only real, meaningful representation, but also create a system where media has any real effort put into it, is to replace corporations with worker-controlled co-ops. Think about it. Market socialism is the only way for people to create their own representation that actually has any wider impact. And I'm not talking about this dungeous crap I see idiots online talk about, I mean real socialism. Also, also, how is the progress in that documentary on the second Balkan war coming along? I really hope you talk about its effects on the modern day geopolitics of Bulgaria. Honestly, it may just be the fact that I'm sick and fatigued right now, but I kind of lost you halfway through this comment, so I'm going to assume what you said was base slash HJ. What was the point of this? If you, as an MLM, think it's fetishy, go ahead. But you aren't going to force your discomfort on me. There's this funny little thing called an opinion, and people need to respect it no matter someone's identity. So I'll respect yours, and you'll respect mine, because we're... You know, human beings. This was in regards to people telling you her artwork with gay OCs came off as fetishy. Would be nice if we could see this artwork, but that would be providing context, and we can't do that. I found a person claiming they were the one she was talking to in this image, and asked where I can find the picture, but they haven't responded to me yet. Also, I'm an MLM, so by your logic, if I see the artwork and I don't think it's fetishy, I can fight it out with them, which I'll gladly do in the comments. Give me that sweet, sweet interaction. I got silence for bringing up the racism and arson stuff. Help me, Lamau. No. They didn't want to be exposed, LMFAO. NG is racist? What the fuck? 
Good, if you want to discuss that, feel free to DM me, but I ain't got time for that shit in my live chat. My Discord is mushroomgirl7574. You ain't got time to be held accountable in your chat? LOL. Eh, yeah, real mature goat. How old are you again? Hell, if this takes place before the Discord conversation at the beginning of the video, your whole calmly educate thing is even more bullshit than I previously thought. By the way, MG said that someone's dying from arson wasn't their problem when someone told her off for using arson as an OC name. Um, why do you just have a screenshot of you saying this? This isn't proof of anything. You literally show us the screenshot of her actually saying this later on. Why do we need a whole ass screenshot of you saying it? Mushroom girl has been in their racist era. It's 11.59 for me. Sob, sob, sob. You have been placed in timeout by the owner of this video or a moderator. Wah, well, you made a shitty claim about a teenager and the teenager reacted poorly. Wah. <laughs> Let me reword it. Hang on. She called them Wendy as short for... Um, that's... Yikes. What the fuck? Ah, you're not supposed to say it, I don't think. I don't think you're meant to say that. So, like, we're hearing this from somebody else. This is a rumor. Obviously, it's sus that there's a dear character named Wendy, but we don't know if that's her actual intent. Also, you kind of have to know if Mush knows that you aren't supposed to mention it. Hell, even Loki says, I don't think. Everyone shut up and listen to the video instead of making an opinion. Listen to the video instead of making an opinion, bro, that's the point of commentary. <laughs> Make an opinion after you hear the arguments. Honestly, sounds like a misunderstanding. Goat. Chill. Just letting you all know, I won't be speaking about bi-lesbians again, and I will be deleting comments about bi-lesbians on my other videos. If you genuinely hate me because I have a different opinion than you on bi-lesbians, one, block me, two, go outside. This entire discussion is chronically online as fuck, and it literally doesn't matter. I don't care about what you have to say on bi-lesbians, and you don't have to care what I have to say. I'm done talking about this bullshit LGBT term discourse, lamau. Honestly, I don't blame the kid for acting like this. My lesbian discourse in general was just overblown and I wasn't even a part of it. Imagine telling somebody that people got into an unironic argument about a micro-label. Alright, let's get on to Poopy Butthole's video about Mushroom Girl and how Mushroom Girl decided to combat that video and defend themselves. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Poopy Butthole's video about Mushroom Girl, and then we'll take a look at Mushroom Girl's defense video. Basically, uh, this person was, uh, saying, tracing this fat phobe racist on it, you know, kind of like what people do with me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm biased, maybe that's why I'm making this video, I might just be biased, but, um, in all seriousness, they're, like, tracing this racist fat phobe, and it really comes, like, sassily, and they, like, really horribly traced it. I'll put a, bit, I'll put a picture on the screen. My friend's house burned to the ground because of arson. It's not funny. It's a federal event that can kill. I mean, that's unfortunate, but that has nothing to do with me, LMFAO. I mean, she's right. It's unfortunate, but it's a fictional character. Also, just because it can kill doesn't mean people can't make characters around it. I'm sorry about your friend's house, but dude, go outside. We're not trying to cancel you, we're just trying to hold you accountable for your actions. But also, by the way, we're going to see you as irredeemable for the rest of your life because you made a blackface joke when you were 14. And yeah, so I made a uh, stupid mistake, I made a joke that was bad, and it was bad, and did I mention that it was a bad joke that I made, and I apologize for it. Um, that joke you made was actually really offensive. Really? I didn't know. And this is why. I made a poorly worded joke when I was pissed off at somebody who, who blackwashed my character out of spite. I did not draw shit. And the fact that you are trying to spread it as if it's true, it's spread, yeah, me through blackface, what the fuck? I didn't know. What exactly is the point of this? She's correcting people that she didn't draw blackface. Cool, moving on. People don't do it for the purpose of getting black representation. I hate to break it to you guys, but uh, changing a character's skin to be brown, oh my god, that's, that's so, so present. No, it's literally not in any way helping representation. People always say, oh, it's representation. No, you wanna know what is representation? It's making your own character black. Hey, I know we're watching Poopy's video, but I just wanted to cut in and say something. There's nothing wrong with making characters black. However, Mushroom Girl's excuse of, oh, we'll just make black characters and put them in the media. You do realize it's not that simple. It's not that easy. 
Representation is hard to get nowadays. Of course, people are improving with the representation that they're putting out there, but it's not that fucking easy. Jesus. If it was that easy, then we wouldn't have people literally begging filmmakers to give us representation. Uh, hello? Yeah. Here's where I gotta explain how Mushroom Girl went wrong because nobody else so far tried to explain. At least in the screenshots that Goat has shown. First of all, yeah, race bending isn't proper representation. Here's a screenshot of user Pumpkin Patch again, who is agreeing and even bringing attention to other forms of black edits that she believes causes harm. But the point where she went wrong is by saying that to make representation, make your own black character and put them in the universe. If race bending isn't representation, neither is making a fan OC. There's still no actual representation in the show and isn't going to have anywhere near an impact that having a black character in the movies or TV shows would. Hey look, I just explained how a child is wrong about a subject that doesn't even involve me without acting like a tool. And I actually brought up a point made by a black user. Not as hard as it looks, Gokato. If you take something to corporations character to make black, that's not gonna do shit because the character is still white and you're not gonna convince the character. The character to turn black. Like the character isn't gonna automatically in the canon turn black because you drew fan of them being black. That's not how that again from so much. Make a character that's make your own character that's in that franchise and make them black. Awesome, now now you now you're solving now you're solving the issue. Now you have your favorite show with your own OC, you know, you can put your own OC in there and the character's black. Solves your fucking issue. Oh, I have this anime and they don't have any black characters. Well, cool, make your own black character, put them in the universe, boom. People literally blackwash for validation. They do it because they want validation for people on the internet. When people make their own black character, people are like, okay, cool, awesome. But uh, when people blackwash, they, all that's in the fucking comments is, oh my god, Yas Queen, you're so progressive. They want that. Honestly, I wasn't even aware that Yas Queen was AAVE. I thought it was just drag queen lingo, so I really doubt she's purposefully mocking it. Hell, go, you weren't even aware of what AAV would, was until you made your Sashley video. But yes, Mushroom Girl, look up what African American vernacular is and why it's so important. Hang on, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm here to explain shit, I'm going to do just that. It took me so long to find any actual information surrounding why it's actually so important, so I'm not going to send a 15-year-old with, let's hope, an actual life to go research it just for funsies. Also, because since white people have a tendency of erasing history, all we have to work off in regards to origins is theories. So that's just fine. Mm. The two main theories I found was that it came from African slaves learning English either from passing conversation or lessons from servants who didn't understand the quote-unquote rules of the English language, or that it is a mix of their original language with English. Either way, this developed into what it is today, but is unfortunately commonly appropriated especially in online media either due to prominent black creators, the use of AAV in popular songs, or things like drag culture. That's like the basic gist of why it's important. I'll leave a video or two discussing its complexities in the description. Mushroom, sweetie, you and me, we're crackers. We can't tell people what bad black representation is. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at Mushroom Girl's defense video against Poopy Butthole's video on her. Since it's about 36 minutes long, I am going to edit out uh, a majority of the video that I don't think is important, so I can skip to the main parts that are problematic in the video. To be making uh, a little response on um, the extremely fucking bullshit that uh, that PB made. PB made a video on me where instead of actually addressing the shit I said, well, they addressed a little bit of it. Uh, mostly, what they were trying to do was uh, poison the well and make me look like a terrible person based on shit that happened like a year ago that I have already apologized for. <laughs> Actively defend what? Oh my- Hot take guys, Sashley isn't racist, you fucking morons. Goat, you even made a point to not call Sashley a racist in your video, or did you only say that because you thought the Octomama would be on your ass? And, disregarding the Sashley thing, what's the history of defending races? You keep saying she has a history of this, but you only bring up Sashley, which was recent! There is two possibilities for the- for what the bullshit you were about to see. First of all, this person saw that somebody made a video actively disagreeing with their video, with their videos, 
and they decided, hmm, I'm gonna go fucking try and dig up as much dirt as I possibly can and see what I can find on this person so I can make a video villainizing them. Or they were already a part of the Mushroom Girl TikTok drama, and they just happened to also be a fucking idiot when it comes to the Sashley situation as well. So when they heard that they're oh so, they're, they're oh so terrible person or Mushroom Girl decided to talk about the situation, oh look, I have so much dirt, dirt quote unquote dig, dug up on this person, you know what, let me make a video discrediting them as a person instead of actually arguing the shit they say. <laughs> One, you're white too. Two, why'd you repeat this point? You literally get at MG for being repetitive, why are you doing it too? You know, that almost sounds like that's a logical fucking fallacy. This is literally poisoning the well. This is literally an ad hominem. I'm fine with somebody like putting, like, you know, poking jabs at people or insulting people in videos, but you usually have to do that accompanying an argument for that to work. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm not looking through her videos to prove that. Give me the proof yourself, coward. You made the claim. Back it up. You can call someone an idiot, or say that somebody was a racist or whatever, but you need to accompany that with an, your actual fucking counterpoint. That's not what you do here. You're straight up making an ad hominem attack and trying to poison the well and be like, yeah, don't listen to this person. I'm gonna show, like, barely any kind of, you know, of the actual arguments in here, other than the small ones that I can that I can easily argue. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of this video showing why they're a disgusting racist person. Dude couldn't even do the bare minimum amount of research and get, you know, new instances of this behavior look i'll do it for you okay so for this part i'm gonna have to put a huge trigger warning for self-harm and self-harm romanticization via art form because mushroom girl herself didn't even decide to put a trigger warning she just flashes the art on screen uncensored no warning no nothing jesus i'm gonna heavily censor this because i don't know about you but i don't want my audience relapsing so yeah yeah fair complaint but I'd like to point out these screenshots I took. Oh my god, it's almost like a child makes mistakes and needs to be educated before being condemned. Posted to Toy House on November 5th this year. Posted to Toy House on November 14th this year. Posted to Toy House on May 2nd this year. Also, to explain the screenshot of me admitting that what I was doing was romanticization, I made an entire video uh, a while back on why romanticization is a very misused word in the art community and why romanticization by itself is not an inherently harmful thing. I <laughs> okay, so, go checks Google but doesn't bother to click on the fucking articles. So I went and read them myself. Also, quick look my ass, you spent two minutes on this stupid frantic typing clip. Okay, so, after skimming through these, a lot of these articles are talking about either the effect of the media on mental health and how it is viewed, or actual romanticization. But, I would like to point out how they describe the romanticization. They're discussing how users online had shown only the positives of mental health issues, such as visually appealing photos of people's fresh self-harm wounds, the beauty of becoming thin due to anorexia, the sweet release of death for people who have committed suicide, which MG doesn't really... Do? Romanticization is described as to think about or describe something as being better or more attractive or interesting than it really is. MG doesn't romanticize self-harm. I mean, you can make a point about how they misunderstand romanticization in media, but... They just have characters in a cutesy style? Which is their style? Plus? The only character with self-harm scars and featured with self-harm wounds is Adam, who, in their character health profile, is said to have self-harm issues and suicidal ideations. Due to that, I don't really get the vibes that this is romanticizing. Looking at the character, all I can think of is the meme, nothing in life matters versus nothing in life matters. 
guess this is romanticizing nihilism. Also, I guess Goat is romanticizing insanity. I mean, well, with the hearts everywhere and the cutesy style. You see what I mean? If you want a more in-depth look at why this idea of cutesy equals romanticizing, check out Ponder Sparkett's video, Your Art Offends My Sensibilities. Stop it. You can romanticize something without promoting it. If you have ever drawn any kind of dark or har uh, subject that harms people in any way, in any kind of cartoony, non-hyperrealistic style, you have romanticized that subject. That is not harmful. You are not harming anyone by doing that, which is why romanticization is not a harmful thing on its own. Now, promoting certain things like self-harm and shit like that, that is also considered romanticization, but that is a much more severe and different kind of romanticization. Romanticization on its own is not harmful, and I don't like the way people act as if it is. People will say, you romanticize, blah blah blah, and I'm like, yeah, good observation, bud. The horror. The fucking horror. We're not trying to cancel you, we're just trying to hold you accountable for your actions. But also, by the way, we're going to see you as irredeemable for the rest of your life because you made a blackface joke when you were 14. By the way, this blackface joke was uh, not racist in the slightest. It was, like, edgy, but, like, it wasn't as bad as it sounds. When you hear a blackface joke, you definitely think of something very, you know, you know, very, um, offensive in your head, but it was not as offensive as you're thinking. Uh, basically, I wish I had the screenshot, but, um... Aw, it's okay, Mushroom. I have the screenshots right here. Also, I want to correct you on something. Making a blackface joke is not only offensive, it is racist. Blackface in and of itself is racist. You shouldn't be joking about that. I know you've acknowledged it now, but the fact that you think it's not as offensive as it seems, it's just... Hello? Basically... Dude, the things that came up from your search are blackface jokes racist. You don't actually get an answer. You get articles about how racist jokes originated from blackface, the history of blackface, and Shay Dawson's use of blackface. Also, the search alone, are blackface jokes racist, is uh, pretty vague and, dare I say, inaccurate to what Mushroom Girl did. What you, when you think of a blackface joke, you most likely, like Google shows, would think of people doing it, which isn't what she did. They, by the way, this is the point in writing that I realized that they, we, they went by they, she pronouns, my bad, said that somebody drew blackface, basically calling them racist. Honestly, that seems like making fun of people who do blackface, which I am all for. Fuck those people. Anyways, this is why you actually look into articles instead of just headlines, especially if we're trying to make a fucking claim. Somebody, out of spite, decided to draw my OC Adam as a black person, which, like, whatever. Um, but I was upset because I was being, like, attacked and shit. So I just said, OMG, they drew- you drew Adam in blackface as a joke because, you know, it's an originally white character that was drawn to be black. That was literally all it was. And some people construed it as me drawing blackface. Somebody- so, like, I'm not even- I didn't know. People don't do it for the purpose. Yeah, so this next point basically boils down to boo hoo, you think blackwashing is a thing and is basically just compiling a bunch of uh clips of me talking about blackwashing so uh i'm skipping it because who fucking cares i have literally nothing to say on this that i've that i haven't already said before i've made basically entire videos on this i don't care about your opinion on blackwashing and you don't have to care about mine shut up much you do realize you just told a black person to shut up about their opinion related to black issues Related to you trying to dictate whether uh, something was good black representation or not. Something that you cannot speak on. Are you fucking serious? And when I called you out in the comments for this, this is what you had to say. I'm sorry, but my respect for you has gone downhill so fucking badly. Why on earth are you bringing up my 2019 drama? I literally have made two other videos regarding the recent Sashley stuff. 
Their entire point was that you didn't put into put any research into the situation or about what was going on. And they're right. My guy, I was 15 years old in 2019 and groomed by a pedo into making that video. I've since changed. The problem with you is that you speak over minorities, tell them to shut up, claim their opinion is invalid, and invalidate their experiences just because you claim you know better. I don't know how you thought this video was a win because I've watched the entirety of it and it's just you making excuses. You have a past behavior of speaking over people and spreading misinformation and you continue it till this day. Good lord. Also, Poopy Butthole is black. They have a right to speak about the racial related issues. Don't tell them to shut up. Bro, I was literally saying that why did they get to act like you've changed, which you have and I never said that you didn't change, and listen to you. But I'm not allowed to grow from my mistakes. Chill. I wasn't trying to villainize you or call you out or say that you haven't changed. I was trying to make a point about PB being a hypocrite. Also, I'm silencing them or whatever because they're being an idiot. It has nothing to do with their race and the fact that you keep applying that is just fucking annoying. Stop. They have been doing nothing except villainize Ashley for shit either one, she didn't do, two, isn't an issue, three, she did a long time ago, or four, should be handled maturely. PB has been doing nothing but making call out after call out trying to expose Sashley over the dumbest shit. And when I point out, hey, you dumbass, you're not handling this shit properly, I become the target of their call outs. They knew nothing about my situation yet decided to spread it with no context or maturity and took screenshots out of context. I've been trying to give them the most charitable approach, but it's hard to do so when they took a screenshot of me very obviously talking about something completely unrelated to a topic and then used it to prove I had a bad opinion about said topic. I am trying to give this borderline troll something, but goddamn are they making it extremely difficult. It has nothing to do with their race. PB's entire video was about racial issues. Are you being serious right now? You told PB, someone who is black speaking about your blatant racism, to shut up and that their opinion doesn't matter? And that has nothing to do with race? This isn't about Sashley, it's about you at this point. Their race doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that they're being a petty dumbass using out of context screenshots, out of context voice clips, and old ass art to call me a bad person. This isn't just about the racism, this is about everything. They have a right to be mad at you speaking about what is, isn't good black representation and racial issues that you literally have no say in. You are white. You keep speaking over them and other people. I'm white as well, but fuck, even I know better. Literal cracker behavior. Oh boy, I have a bit to say. Goat, you are fucking hypocritical. PB's entire radio was about racial issues. Are you being serious right now? You told PB, someone who is black, speaking out about your blatant racism, to shut up and that their opinion doesn't matter? And that has nothing to do with race? Let's look at your recent Sashley video where you argue PB's points, which, guess what, have to do with race. They bring up the childish Gambino meme and you go on about it. Oh, I thought this was solved already. She took down the video and she somewhat apologized. Goat, you just did the very thing that Mushroom Girl did. I'd also like to make it clear, the Childish Gambino drama was stupid! She was writing the lyrics to the song, and the song had the n-word in it. Boo fucking who! But your hypocrisy still stands! You also explain that the screenshots of Sash saying the n-word with a hard R are from when she was 12. <coughs> oh, and here's you speaking on Asian fetishization, even though you say you can't. Once again, the whole thing is stupid, but you show your hypocrisy. You can argue race issues with PB and it's fine as long as you phrase it a certain way, but once a 15 year old does it, no, back, back to your corner. That's my main issue here. More at my conclusion. So much other stuff I could talk about regarding Mushroom Girl, but I don't want my video to be more than 20 minutes long. So your video reached 31 seconds over the 20 minute mark. HERESY! That's about all I could find an issue with in this video that wouldn't drive me insane. I'd like to clarify that I do believe Mush needs to improve. When it comes to commentary, you need to be able to actually listen to your posers instead of just skimming. That is a shitty way to go about things. But, I feel like this video and any like it isn't gonna help. Mush is continuing with their commentary, and I'm hoping that they're improving. Unlike others, yeah, I believe that they can change. Adults can do it, children do it all the time, and they're a 15 year old. They're gonna make mistakes and they need to be handled correctly. CORRECTLY. 
teenagers need to be properly educated over being condemned. But how can one figure out if another is uneducated on something unless that person gives out their opinion? Let me get anecdotal for a minute. While I am white as a goddamn paper, my father is black. Before anybody gets it into their heads, no, this is not going to be a, well, my dad is black, so I can say stupid shit. No! Me and him have had differing opinions on things regarding our own cultures, him with being black and me with being queer. By sharing those opinions, we came to a better understanding. For example, I get videos on my For You page talking about colorism, and people of color talking about how lighter-skinned individuals are automatically treated better, and some of these creators would say how they would have better lives because of their light complexion. Meanwhile, my dad had suffered the opposite effect. Too black to be white, too white to be black. That's why I have the opinion that colorism affects both sides. But I'm white. I shouldn't have this opinion despite being educated by black people. We can't just follow what a certain group says because every group inside of itself will have differing opinions. That's why you listen to these opinions and come to an understanding. Mushroom Girl's issue is that they don't take the time to actually think through complex ideas, but they're a teenager. They aren't going to fix this right away. Still, Mushroom Girl, you messed up. You should actually listen to others on their issues and actually listen. You don't have to change your mind, but approach others like a debate and don't just skim over it. One particular example was a video made by, oh god, Wayne Dreamed. Ah! It shows you disregarding people's claims about somebody who, allegedly, makes Shotokan. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here, I saw the TikTok you commented on. Those people did not argue their points well, but it is still up to you to actually look into those claims instead of disregarding them as a whole. I don't even agree with a lot of the points Brain Drain makes in their videos or some of the shit they pull on their TikTok account, but in this case, yeah, you were in the wrong here. Now for GOAT. Grow up. If you're going to cover children on the internet, handle it with care and maturity, not this. Both of you fucked up here. Now fix it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys have any notes on how I can improve, or if you'd just like to argue, comment down below. I'm also always in need of commentary ideas, so feel free to leave suggestions. Thanks again, and goodbye. Christ, the amount of people making fun of a 15-year-old's lisp is just... Ugh.